This Waterdrop X16 tankless reverse MOSA system, measuring 18.2 inches long, 6.25 inches wide, and 16.72 inches high, is sitting right in front of me. At 39.5 pounds, it's definitely on the heavier side. The design is sleek and modern, with its tankless configuration making it look more sophisticated without the bulky appearance of traditional systems. Its corded electric design might seem like a hassle to me, but it speaks to its high-performance nature. So uh, let's get started with my quick review of this system. I'll begin with what I like about it, and there are quite a few things to cover. The tankless design really stands out for me. It not only saves a significant amount of space under the sink, but also makes the setup look a lot more modern and less cluttered. I find the absence of a clunky tank refreshing. It's all about clean lines and efficiency, Another aspect I appreciate is the high flow rate. At 1.2 gallons per minute, I don't have to stand around waiting for my glass to fill up. Efficiency is key in my everyday routine, and this system aligns perfectly with that. The 11-stage filtration process is something I quite like as well. It gives me a sense of reassurance knowing that the water passing through my faucet is thoroughly cleaned. Additionally, the Alkaline Mineral pH Plus feature is a nice bonus, contributing to overall health, which I can get behind. The pure-to-drain ratio is another point worth mentioning. With a 3-1 ratio, it's more efficient than many other systems I've come across, using water wisely without excessive wastage. It feels responsible and environmentally conscious, which is a plus in my book. But, um, not everything is perfect, you know? There are some aspects I don't particularly enjoy. First off, the fact that it's corded electric could be a drawback for me. Having to rely on electricity means that in case of a power outage, I might face issues accessing clean water, which is definitely not ideal. The weight is another concern. At nearly 40 pounds, installing it might require an extra pair of hands. Moving and positioning such a hefty item can be tricky, to say the least. Additionally, the temperature range is something I wish was more flexible. With a lower limit of 41 degrees and an upper limit of 100 degrees Fahrenheit, I feel a bit restricted. I prefer colder water straight from the tap, and this system might not meet those particular needs. Now, when I think about similar providers, like Ispring, Apec, and Pelican, they also offer compelling products. These other brands have their strengths, particularly in customization options and sometimes ease of installation. However, the Waterdrop X16 stands out with its cutting-edge tankless design and high filtration stages, making it a strong contender among these peers. In conclusion, the Waterdrop X16 tankless reverse osmosis system has a distinct set of advantages and a few points I'm not thrilled about. Its efficient design and outstanding filtration capabilities are hard to beat. However, the reliance on electricity and limited temperature adjustments are things to keep in mind before making a decision. But all in all, I'm impressed by how it delivers both in performance and aesthetic appeal, and it certainly has its place in the market. If you enjoyed this quick review, or if you have any thoughts or questions about the Waterdrop X16 or similar products, I'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.